Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. This is just a quick video kind of going over um, why I chose what I chose for my home gym uh, to start out with. Uh, because what I did was not really uh, probably the most popular choice. Uh, the most popular decision. It was a little bit unorthodox, if you will. Uh, the very first thing that I got from my home gym was this bench. That pair of body bench. I found it online, uh, Craigslist or Marketplace, I can't remember. I uh, got it for $75. It was $100. He was asking, and I asked him if he'd go down to $75. I said, sure. So I bought it. Uh, my, my, initial, my initial goals were really to just get a multi purpose bench like that and get a few dumbbells or uh, uh, more uh, to the point. Uh, adjustable dumbbells. I was gonna get some adjustable dumbbells but uh, things kind of progressed a little bit farther. So uh, the next piece of equipment that I bought outside of dumbbells or anything like that or weight plates or anything the next thing that I purchased is the one piece that's a little bit unorthodox I think. Let's take a look. It's my Titan Fitness high and low lat machine. That was the second piece of equipment that I purchased. Now a lot of people wouldn't have done that. Most people look to get uh, some sort of a Olympic uh, bench with the uprights where you can bench and do that type of stuff or they look for something along the lines of a cage, a rack, a power cage, whatever you want to call them, uh, so they can put a barbell on there and put their bench like so, like that, in there and use it and bench and shoulder press and, uh, and use it for other things, squats and deads and, you know, hey, curls. So, uh, going with, you know, a flat incline decline bench first and then going with a high low lat system second was a, a little different for, uh, from a lot of people but again my initial thoughts were I'm just gonna do some light dumbbell work and see if I can do anything at all because whenever I was first going in whenever I was first thinking of working out again I was still uh, with my bad shoulder. Um, you can go back and watch other videos I talk about it. But I thought well if anything I can do I can just get a cheap bench you know find a good deal on a bench and then just get a, you know some adjustable dumbbells and just at least do something to get some strength training in because all I was doing was cycling and walking and for a long time I've been wanting to get strength training back into my daily life. So uh, things kind of progressed a little bit and my shoulder was feeling better and I was like you know what uh, I'm fixing to start working out. So my next choice was that high and low pulley system because uh, you know the bench I can take care of a lot of things you know from chest and shoulders to you know whatever you know you can do a multitude of things just from a bench and having some dumbbells but I was like well I want to build a I like being able to do pull downs and I like being able to do the seated rows and that that just makes me feel good it's it's a mental thing and also it's it's good muscles to work out you know it, it helps to bring your physique out uh, to build a decent back not that I have a decent back but it's better than if I didn't do anything at all. And yes, there's other exercises you can do without a lat machine uh, with dumbbells and barbells and 
uh, easy curl bar type things and you know there's other things that you can do but I do like I like doing pull downs and rows uh, because I just like the way they feel and uh, it's no stress on my back at all all while getting to work out my back so my thoughts were okay I got my bench I can get some dumbbells and now I can do some back workout and plus this you can do other little movements with that you know if you get attachments and chains that make the cables long enough where you can do certain things so anyway it is versatile so I got that going on and then you know I'm still looking I'm still looking and searching man do I want to get a do I want to get a rack do I want to get a cage do, do I want to go to barbells and, and, and add that in do I feel like I'm able to do that now not only physically with my shoulder but do I want to do that mentally? Am I there mentally? Uh, is, is it going to do me any better? And so, at the end of the day, as of right now, for me right now, it's not something that I'm looking to get. Now, if I had a big, a nice, you know, uh, building where I could put uh, more equipment and stuff, yeah, I'd probably get a cage and uh, add that into my, you know, arsenal. But my next thing, my next bit of plan was, uh, you know, I cycle and I walk. So I thought, well, I don't really need to work out legs. You know, I can do something with dumbbells and dumbbell squats or deads or whatever you want to call them. So I wasn't really too concerned, but I'm, I'm always looking. I was always on the lookout for leg presses and, and uh, leverage machines and smith machines and other different things to, that i could incorporate more legs into and i thought you know what i'm gonna pull the trigger because all these years i've always wanted something really dedicated for my legs whether it's a hack squat a leg press combo or a leverage system or, or something i've always wanted something and i've had a cage where i could do squats and all that but i'm not wanting all that on my shoulders and my back and all that you know I'm gonna be 50 this year and I have a horrible back and horrible show you know shoulders I can't reach back and and all that stuff so I pulled the trigger on my next piece of equipment which is the Titan Fitness compact hack squat machine sled okay so that gets us to there so I don't think that's really unorthodox uh, to want, but at the same time, a lot of people would have went with a cage or something for squats or whatever. And technically, I, I could have gotten out cheaper doing that. But again, I know I'm not looking for the barbell on the shoulders and having to do all that anymore. I'm not going for size. I'm not going for superhuman strength and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm kind of, you know, you have to reevaluate where you are now. You know, this isn't me 20, 30 years ago. This is me now. And uh, so that kind of has me uh, where I'm at today. Now, I do have dumbbells. I have 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Uh, I need 60s, 70s. I have 80s. Uh, I need 90s, and I have 100s. So I still need... Uh, a few sets of dumbbells to have me where I want to be and uh, you know I, I'm pretty set and I feel like where I'm at in my life right now that I'm really lucky and uh, really happy to have what I've got and as long as my shoulder uh, stays you know uh, unaggravated uh, seemingly better I'm good to go so I feel I feel good as far as that goes and and yes I do miss doing some barbell benches and barbell bent rows and deads and squats and all that stuff I, you know I think about it all the time but maybe that'll come come down the pipeline you know uh, later uh, if I get more room if I get me a, a building uh, where I can you know have me a, a garage set up out out in the building uh, you never know I'm always looking I look at stuff all the time and I have for years I've looked at stuff 
I, I look at stuff all the time. <laughs> so you never know. But uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now with my gym. Uh, you know, everyone has different goals and different needs and different wants. And, and you know, I think there comes a time when you need to kind of evaluate and reevaluate and kind of come back down to earth a little bit and uh, kind of kind of maybe do things a little different and uh, see what happens and uh, so far I get a good workout every day uh, that I come in here and I work out pretty much six or seven days a week uh, I'm not going for strength and size and all that I'm just going for keeping some muscle getting some muscle trying to burn some calories and lose some fat and just get a little healthier and uh, feeling a little better about myself and uh, so yeah so you know down down the road I still need to get some dumbbells and probably a couple more plates different uh, weight uh, variations in my plates and that I need some 10s and I'd like to have some more 45s where I can kind of keep a, you know a few 45s over here by the sled and a couple of 45s over there by the lat uh, machine and you know maybe a couple over here from my, uh, my easy curl bar and that uh, you know so I don't have to run around so there, you know there's still a few little things that I'm looking for uh, for this gym right now later on down the line like I said uh, if I get a building uh, I'll probably be getting a cage and the barbell and and uh, some more plates and uh, I do want to get a treadmill and I want to get an exercise bike and maybe an elliptical and, and all that kind of stuff if I get uh, a building. Um, or actually I'm looking at getting a treadmill and an exercise bike anyways. Uh, the exercise bike I can keep in my office, uh, my man cave, because uh, they, they don't have a real big footprint so I can keep it in there. Uh, the treadmill I would likely put outside or in our master bedroom. and. Uh, you know they'll they'll help me on days that I can't go out if it's raining and or if it's way too cold or you know whatever the case may be or sometimes you might want to just do those instead of getting out there so anyway guys that's kind of where I'm at the sled the bench the high low my easy curl bar dumbbells Oh, and I would actually like to also uh, introduce you to my new little workstation that I did. If you recall, there was a uh, little counter right here, a little shelf that my son had put up, as you can see, <laughs> uh, the holes there. Uh, there was a little shelf here, and I had my paperwork here, and I had my laptop here and stuff, and... Uh, I wanted to make me a new shelf, but I wasn't sure what I was gonna do and I didn't feel like buying lumber because it's so expensive. But I was like, ah, let me reuse the lumber that's in the closet. You know, closets always have the shelf and the brackets and all that. So let me show you what I did. Look at there. I just lowered it down. That's where it was, you know, shelf going across. So I just lowered it all down and uh, got my workstation here. That's my workouts I've done. There's a little tripod and that's that's my plan, you know, my workout schedule. And then got my laptop and I just ran the power cord uh, this morning. Stapled it to the thing over there. Uh, nice and neat. Got these hanging here, we got those there. So, yeah, I got that done and for free. <laughs> so, sometimes you just got to kind of rethink things and uh, you can figure something out. Usually either super cheap or free. Uh, I still have to build a dumbbell rack and I'm going to get some concrete blocks. I need about 15 concrete blocks. I'm going to put blocks here, blocks here, and then... A stack here and then put lumber on top some sort of a table on top so I can at least 
get my heavy dumbbells up about right here about so high um looking to go up about maybe two feet something like that and uh it'll get my heavy dumbbells up off the floor where i don't have to bend all the way over to get them so yeah that's kind of what i got going on in here so anyway i just wanted to give you a little update a little um insight as to why i chose uh, what i chose for my gym so far and uh hey if you have any questions or anything put them in the comments and let me know what you got going on if you're working out or you know whatever you got you know leave in the comments let me know what's going on guys do you like the way it's looking let me know hey i like it so uh anyway yeah like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and while you're at it like, share, comment, and subscribe to my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. All right? Make sure you check out all the playlists and everything in both the channels. Uh, you're going to find everything you want in Mikey Sin TV. And, of course, Old Mental Pickle is just live streaming video games. And you're going to find all kind of good stuff, okay? So, guys, don't forget. Get up. Get out. Get rad. And do it to it. And get yourself a hobby, a love, a passion, and enjoy life, okay? Because it's not just about going to work and coming home and stressing. you got to have something that you enjoy in life. Or else, what's the sense in living? Okay? We'll see y'all later. Now i got to work out chest. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!